the NCAA has changed their rules and now it's harder to get a perfect 10. And let's talk about it on Michaela Loves Gymnastics. Michaela Loves Gymnastics. Thank you, thank you, thank you, the um, YouTube channel, Gymnastics, for always giving us the true tea on the sport. Baby, the NCAA has changed their rules, and no longer can these simple routines on bars and beams get a 10. Um, most floor routines, I think, are going to still, st well, now... <clears throat> Now, again, I'm just learning about this today. I just did a full day at work. So, I haven't really did my research. I'm just talking on my instinct. So, I hope you guys understand. Um, the first rule that I know that it's no longer four tenths of a point to get a perfect 10. You got to get six tenths of a point to get a perfect 10, which means if you fulfill all the requirements, your base score is a 9.4. So, then you got to get six tenths of a point to get a perfect 10. And guess what quota point this reminds me of? Dun, dun, dun. The 1996 quota points. You had to get six tenths of a point to get a perfect 10. Routine start. If you, if you met all the requirements in 1996, your routine started from a 9.4. And then you had to get six tenths of a point to even start from a 10.0. And that is the rule now in the NCAA. And I know they devalued some skills. Which skills they devalue, I'm not even going to lie to you. I have no idea. But I know um, one of the things is that Kyla Ross' old bar routine that she's been using for the last three years, I don't think no longer would start from a 10. It probably would start from a 9.9, .9, maybe even a 9.8. Um, I think this is why Carla Ross is doing this new combination, but I just don't know the rules. I don't know if you can repeat skills in, in um, NCAA. Um, I know in the 1996 Olympics, I mean, the, uh, the 2003 through 1996 Quadrennium, um, you could repeat skills and still get credit for them. I don't know if in NCAA if you can repeat skills because um, I've seen a routine where Kyla Ross was doing a Maloney pack, Maloney um, bell to handstand, shoot up to high bar. Um, could she do that in NCAA or would she would have to do a child pack Maloney? Which I think we know Kyla Ross is perfectly capable of doing that combination. Well, at least she was in 1990, 1990 Lord, in um, 2015. So, we wonder what routines this, the girl... And this truly changes the landscape of NCAA gymnastics to me. This right now is going to separate the top four or five teams versus the rest of the, of the, the um, level A schools or whatever. I don't know. The bit lead schools, right? The SEC, the Pac-10, the... Um, Whatever division the Sooners and and Denver comes from, um, so what do we think we're gonna see? I think this is gonna benefit Florida. Florida always threw harder routines than most other schools. It's just they would hop, they would step. It wouldn't really be worth it. Um, I think Florida is gonna be fine. I think Oklahoma is gonna be just fine. Um, I think in the UCLA, it's going to take them a couple, maybe mid-season to get to peak position. But I think UCLA is the strongest team this year on paper. Um, I think it's really between, on paper, um, and the, I'm just going to go by, um, yeah, I hope the NCAA doesn't do that stupid. I think they go, should go back to the six, super six. I, uh, that, what they did last year was horrible. They should go back to the super six or make it the super eight and do two teams per rotation like they do in elite gymnastics. Like, I don't know, but it's just, 
they should go back to the old system. And yeah, because it was exciting. It was very exciting for us fans, the old system. I mean, this one, it was cool, but when Peng Lee Lee did her um, cartwheel aerial full twist dismount and stuck that thing cold and everybody knew she was about to get a 10 and UCLA was going to win, that was super exciting. When Oklahoma won last year, you can already tell that that's where it was for the goal and the battle was for second and third. Um, we're going to say goodbye to so many good gymnasts. We're going to say goodbye to Ruby Harrow at ULSU. We're going to say goodbye to Kennedy Etney at LSU. We're going to say goodbye to... Who had George at Florida? I don't think Florida is losing anybody really. Big names. If I'm forgetting somebody, please let me know in the comment section. I just can't think of offhand. I think this is Alyssa Bauman's junior year. Not her senior. Her senior year but next year. Uh, I think this is... Uh, UCLA. But UCLA got some great gymnasts coming in. But they're, they're losing a lot. They're losing Kyla Ross. Or they're losing Madison Cochin. Um, OU is losing Maggie Nichols. And I think Anastasia Webb. No, Anastasia Webb will be a junior this year. So it's just, next year will be her last year. Um, ooh, but we're bringing so many, so much. Reagan Smith first year. Um, so many great. So many, so much talent. Um, it's gonna be awesome, an awesome year in NCAA gymnastics. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to Michaela Love Gymnastics, and please share this video and you know, all the gym blogs. And let's um, get to 200 subscribers. That's the goal. Thank you.